Good morning. It's just after six o'clock in the morning. I'm making my way to the airport to fly to Korea. Look at these streets because they are never ever so empty in Edinburgh. This is George Fourth Street touching the Royal Mile, which is like the main street leading to the castle in Edinburgh. Mm. All my family is so scared that I'm going to Korea because they say it's dangerous, etc. I know it's probably not the best time ever to go there, but you know what? I might as well just go to Manchester or for a concert or London, being on the street out on Saturday and worse thing can happen than it might happen in Korea. So these days, nobody ever knows when and where it's gonna happen. Something bad. Okay, behind me is a castle and I'll see you later. Hi, this is my third day in South Korea. Behind me you can see the panorama of Seoul. Here is the Namsan Tower that I'm aiming for. This time my jet lag is so bad. This is the first day pretty much I came out from the house uh, because I, I would just sleep all day and get up in the middle of the night. <laughs> well, everything is closed. So it's my first trip. So far, so good. I stay somewhere there. Okay, let's go. I only have another kilometer, I think. Look upon the clouds as the moon sits way up high And I try to count the stars that line across the midnight sky Beautiful creation, winter air touches my face Oh, and still somehow I miss it as I stand within this place so I close my eyes and focus on the song That the wind plays as it moves and blows along And I can finally see As I grow older and live That there's more that's waiting for me The more I have to give Oh, I try for way too long Work for something good when it was free, waiting for me. Good morning. I hope you'll be able to hear me well because I'm next to the busy road actually. I'm uh, at the war memorial here and there is another st statue just behind it. This one's probably more well known. And here is the war museum there is a lot of airplanes it's actually half past seven in the morning i am around the corner from the tour office uh, our meeting point for the tour to go to the border of north korea i'm very very excited but also a little bit scared mm. so i came a little bit early and i thought to uh, tell you a couple of words also about traveling alone because I'm not sure if I told you that I came to South Korea by myself. Well, let's cl clarify it. Uh, I flew here by myself, but I knew that there will be some people who I'll be meeting here. My friends from Europe, they just happen to be here at the same time. And the question is always like, am, am I not afraid? Is uh, whoever's traveling alone is not afraid? I am not afraid at all. I think it is, uh, well, down to a couple of reasons. First one is probably because uh, I, I think I, I've been to Asia before. And secondly, well, not, not, never, never to South Korea, but I've been to Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, Cambodia, Vietnam. So I knew what is this about. Uh, also, I believe South Korea is quite a safe place to go. Uh, same Japan, same America. So there are places that I really have no problem traveling alone to. 
but there are a lot of places that I just would not go alone although I would love to visit these places for example India or South America I just would not <laughs> I would be too afraid to go there by myself I think the, the breaking breaking point for me was when I went to Australia that was a study exchange and um, I was there was another guy joining but we didn't go at the same time I don't think he he was clear to go through his uh, medical checks so I just packed my bags and flew as soon as I could so that was my first really far um, trip uh, at which I realized there is nothing to worry about because everywhere where we travel really there are, the basics are pretty much the same and these days if you have internet you can really travel anywhere there is no no need to be worried um, I'm not really, you know, of course like you have to take basic safety precautions but I'm like not walking in the middle of the night and research a little bit before arriving uh, which area your accommodation is at for example but this is not, this is not necessarily too hard to do um, but yeah, after traveling to Australia and New Zealand um, that was really really far away and I only had so much time I could travel with so I didn't have time to wait for everybody who could possibly go with me and that's where I learned there was nothing to worry about although I'm, I was hoping for some time for myself this is well probably one of the first mornings I have by myself you know the place I live at is the Airbnb look at this by the way and of course the house is really really nice there are other people as well that we're sharing the place with so I went to the, the Namsan Tower where I met a couple of guys, like older ones. There's like a lady from Switzerland and a guy from America. There's, we had so much fun. We went for dinner together afterwards and then we're meeting again, like in a couple of days time. And in the meantime, I'm meeting my friends who are here as well. So really, there's, if you really hope that you're going to be alone when you travel to rest by yourself, no, there's like very little chance because you always 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 meet somebody mm, so yeah okay I'm gonna switch off and head to the office I'll see you later at the North Korean side uh, I forgot to mention that there is a very specific dress code for that tour to the border to the demilitarized zone I'm actually wearing quite a smart dress as you can see because uh, whatever we wear it cannot be uh, shorter than the knee height uh, there's a lot of other regulations like we cannot have ripped jeans or sandals the hair has to be like tied up and clean because the North Korean soldiers apparently uh, take pictures and then make propaganda that um, the rest of the world is poor so we have to be very careful what we wear okay bye we are in a DMZ zone at the moment, which is right at the border of North Korea. We just came out from the tunnel. There's around 20 tunnels that North Koreans build under the South Korea in order to invade them. But there, there have only four been discovered. So one of them you can visit while you're here. Building is T1, which is used by NNNC for their weekly meeting. And the last building is former Czechoslovakia and Polish NNNC building. And to your front, you can see a large square building, and that is Pamungak, also known as North Korean Visitor Welcoming Center. I'm on Jeju Island. I just took my glasses off uh, because I didn't want to see my reflection all the time. Oh my goodness. And so I might squeeze my eyes. Um, I'm on the 
complete detox from all the makeup, everything. I just wear some SPF cream. I'm on Hem Diok Beach, and the beach is behind me. But I just laid on the grass because I didn't want to have a, a sand all over. And I went up there. And shame on me because I forgot I have this camera with me. It's so beautiful there, it's such a beautiful views. But I didn't record any of it. My, uh, mm, I'm staying in a guest house and the host of this guest house kicked me out from, from there today because I arrived like a couple of days ago. But I don't know what's going on. I can't get over from my jet lag. Just, I've been here for a week and two days in Korea now and I'm still I'm still so bad my body just cannot switch off uh, from <laughs> European time so basically I'm getting up around 8 or 9 and then I'm making it till 12 and then I go to sleep again and because I just feel so tired and I get, I get up at 6 and then that's when I get up and sightsee and then I come back uh, unfortunately uh, cannot sleep until 3 in the morning again so my host today just gave me the, this blanket that I'm sitting on uh, gave me a backpack and said like get out from here because you, you gotta see the beach and uh, you gotta see the beautiful Jeju island so uh, yeah I appreciate his um, you know <laughs> he's looking after me <laughs> um, it's awesome guys I love it, it, it Asia is unlike any other country I've ever visited people are so kind and so westernized nobody try to change the prices for example in the shops just because they see you're you're white or non-asian it's it's just it's normal i feel like i could live here you know I, although yeah i'm not sure how about like employment etc i'm not talking about that i'm just talking about the general feel of the people and the country uh, and I, I really really enjoy that Look at that. This is Jeju in Korea. We've just been up there. You cannot see it now, but there is a volcano. I'll just turn it around. Uh, there is a volcano mountain that you can climb. It's in the center of Jeju Island. And uh, on the way here in the bus, I met Fun. <laughs> Fun is an owner of a guest house and I've been really really lucky because he knows every he's been here a few times and he knows everything around. Uh, so he's been explaining me on the way the names of the trees, etc. So he was a very very good uh, tour guide. I'm I'm really really lucky. Um and it's it's just marvelous. Look at that. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, this is the ultimate holiday for the brain just to completely unwire this is the way that we made all the way up here can you see because I don't even see the end of it it took us like three hours to climb here there next to this little place this is the entrance so yeah Jeju in Korea <sighs> how beautiful Beautiful.